the time has come, the walrus said. Some of these screens seem like kind of copies of the ones we saw in Lake Coro. I'm not sure if they're exactly the same. I think there are a few repeated assets, small ones, but they are rearranged. Like this is, uh, this feels more like a forest than a jungle. Oh, and look who it is. Yeah. So we see all the Toa gathered together at once for the first time. And here's the thing. I, my brother, who's also a big Vinyl Co fan, he had never played this game. I decided before I did this, this Let's Play to play it with him. And uh, because, you know, Flash is going away, I, I figured he should see it. I gave him the opportunity to voice Tahu, and for some reason he kept messing up his words, so I'm just going to make that a point of Tahu's character that he constantly messes up singular words in every <laughs> sentence. This is where we begin our final task. If any of you question our choice or doubt our chances, if we're to get, speak now. I've doubted you in the past, Tahu, but no more. I think I speak for all of us when I say that our only hope is to work together. I cast my sword with yours if you'll have it. I will have it gladly, Kopaka. Wait, Tao. Have you given no thought to our return? If the Rahi attack the temple while we're below, how can we escape? It's like, oh, there's an intruder among us. <laughs> Stay here, Claus, I knew, uh, It is the Chronicler and his company. Hey, I was just here the whole time eavesdropping, don't mind me. Little one, you are brave indeed to have come all this way. And I see you have gathered help from all the villages around. Tahu, it is as I hoped. These Tahunga can guard the Kininui while we descend, and see that no Rahi attacks us from behind. The Rahi are fearsome. May their hearts prove greater than their size would suggest. Chronicler, it is your doom to remain here and guard the Kininui at all costs. This dead will be remembered as long as any remain to sing of it. Friends, <laughs> we have much to do and little Tim. Let us go. No, uh, we have uh, so much time and so little to do. <laughs> Before I go, Chronicler, know that there is a bond between us. Yeah, okay. Your struggles and those of your friends will be much to bear. I shall be with you in heart. Now dream fast with me. <laughs> Look for me okay. in your dreams. I will come to you then and speak to you of the things we see underground. Remember them. Goodbye, and do not let the temple fall. Alright, you got it. Sure, Bay. All the gold masks. I do like how Lewa, we actually got to see him obtain the gold mask in the first place. Yeah. Down they go. I think what happens here is you just talk to a couple of Matoran to trigger the next part. Yep. We're, like the Toa said, we just gotta sit here and defend the temple. Now you notice the t the Matoran are telling you about like elemental chains, you know, elemental weaknesses. It's a rock paper scissors thing they have going. Right, I should, probably should have mentioned that before we started the battle because yes, it's an actual battle. Jeez, Kopik, why are you so hurt? Oof. Uh, but in this battle, you just click on the Matoran you want, you click on the enemy, and then they attack that enemy. Just it's... cycle through them as fast as you can. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very simple. Like, it's not- it's certainly not something that would carry a whole game, but it's just kind of intended at the end here, so you get a bit more out of this. So like I mentioned, uh, there is an elemental weakness chain, kind of like in Pokémon. So, mm -hmm. you know, certain characters could be one-shotted by certain uh, attacks from the Rahi, and vice versa. Ooh, was that like a cover ability someone had? Uh, that was, uh, that was Kapura. Basically, mm. anime stepping. <laughs> This is so cool. I am Akamai. Spirit of wisdom, hear me. I am Wairuha. Your name doesn't roll off the tongue, brother. Look at this visual. It's so great. So, you are joined. I can't pronounce his name. Let us now choose a path and go into the darkness to face our destiny. Be it good or ill. Our way lies not together, Akamai. We must face whatever evils are before us alone. Hmm, that's not really the, the toll way, but alright. I choose this road, you take the other. With luck, we'll come together again at the gates of Mangai. Or Mangaya, whatever. <laughs> I'm the one who's supposed to mess up words. Or at least when I'm a third of me. 
But yeah, as he was mentioning, here we have Kopik saying, Like Lycorans, we of ice fear the fiery Kofo Jaga, but we can easily crack the hard Nui Jaga and sand Tarakava beasts of stone. So they all give a little bit of advice as to how you could handle the next battle, which is kind of important. Usually I just target one enemy at a time. Yeah. Sometimes there are only one enemy. There is a bit of strategy, though, in what you attack first. Because you don't want to yeah. give, like, the worst enemy time to keep pelting you. Okay, so yeah, just gang up on one Nui Rama at a time until they're all dead. If any Matoran uh, die or lose all their health, they will, um... In the next battle, well, I believe they'll come back with half. Now, thankfully, you can lose a few times and the game will be forgiving about it. It's not like an immediate game over. You'll just mm -hmm. be pushed further and further back towards the temple. Right now, we're we're in the woods. You know, this is the... We're, we're drawing a line here. Meanwhile... I believe, though, that if you lose a battle and you're pushed back, that progresses the cutscene just as if you'd won a battle. So you can just intentionally lose, but at the same time, it takes just about as long to lose a battle as it takes to win a battle, so you might as well give it uh, a go. But again, every time you lose a battle, you do get pushed further back, and I think there is a limit of sorts. I've never entered a failed state. I don't know for sure if there is one, but the point is you, you can cheese your way through it. You can just, you know, outlast them. I never actually, so if you can't tell just from the the designs, the uh, the Toa, what are they called, Kaita, Kaida? Yep. They're just um, combined versions of the three other Toa, and I never actually took the time to build them just because I always prefer the Toa like individually. I, I did a few times just to see what they'd look like. They're they're pretty cool in hand, and they had flexibility, I mean posability that we wouldn't see for years, like neck articulation. Ooh. Down to half our guys. We almost got him. He's just dodging a lot. Oh! Ooh. Tomorrow with the one health. Like I said, hits like a truck. Oh, how is he not dead? Look at this thing's health. It's got so much health. <laughs> Apparently Maku's not very good against him, because that was like, what, two damage there? Jeez. Just oh, die. He's, he's getting it ready. Oh, uh, you okay. got it. Just before Finally. he was going to attack again. Oh, you made it. Oh, got pushed back. We never fought one of those guys. Yeah, they, they do appear sometimes. It's pretty random. We're doomed. Doomed. <laughs> Like that, we've been saved by Kongu. As the Toa Kaida have now discovered, these uh, Rahi are connected to the, the stone pillars here, or whatever they are. They've made it. I feel strange. Feels like being torn apart. <laughs> uh, that's gotta be weird though, being three people and then not being three people. What has happened? The spirit of Makuda is the spirit of destruction. Oh dear. This is in a realm. The Toa Kaida cannot exist here. The Toa Kaida merely gave physical form to the force of our unity. We still possess it in our hearts. But the Toa Kaida's wisdom and valor were unmatched. <laughs> I like how Gali's trying to convince them that the Toa Kaida weren't so great. <laughs> yeah. Where wisdom and valor fail, all that remains is faith. Hey, Tahu got through that line. Here's Chronicler, we step now through the gates of doom. Our link is broken. 
If you wish to fulfill your destiny and record the last moments of this time, you must find us. Find us! It just gets weirdly distorted there. All right. So critically, wake up. Oh, who's this thing? Is Maku? Please wake up. All right. Hey, it's Jala. I don't know why Kapoor is staring at him so intently. Anyway. <laughs> He's got a crick in his neck. I guess so. So does Kongu here. But, yeah, the... Everyone's... Everyone survived. We're all happy. We defended this place from the Rahi. Look at these two here. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little wave. That's all you get from them. Here we have... Onapu's back. Something strange happened in Onakaro. Winnowa says you should come here and quickly, but not on foot. Take Puku. She followed us all the way here. I think she's been looking for you. So we're going to take Puku all the way back to Onokoro. This is kind of a way they can teleport you there without having to walk all the way back to Onokoro, because there's something important there now. And uh, once you get there, all the tunnels are sealed. You can't explore the island anymore. Yep. I mean, we can go in some of these huts, but nobody else is here. Like, it's just kind of... just kind of... Oh, hello. But yeah, our exit's sealed, so we just gotta finish the game from this point. There's no more exploring. We gotta go down the same mine shaft that had the sundial. Ooh. I actually don't remember seeing this screen with all the lights off and without yeah, the guy here. Nobody's working here. Yeah, I, I remember the lights off before we had the light stones here when it was just torches, but you know, it's kind of barren now with no one there. Here, the sundial. Before we had the golden mask in the way, but now there's nothing there, so we can go ahead and press this in and continue onward. Hey, it's me. Hey, look who it is. It's a guy. Anyway, so our identity has been revealed. We're Takua, who... This is the first Bionicle thing I'm doing on my channel, so if you're just watching as someone who knows my channel and doesn't know Bionicle, wh who's Takua? What does that mean? He's just the guy we're playing as, and he he happened to be the one who, bring the, who brought the Toa here in a previous game, but I'll get around to let's playing that at some point as well. He's basically the main character of Bionicle G1. For most of it. Pretty much. We're in the same area, if you can notice these uh, these computers broken and the Rahi broken, we're in the same area that the Toa Kaido were in just a moment ago. Makuta, we have come! Can I do his voice? Sure. Okay. Huh? I have been waiting for you. So, we finally see the threat that Kapura told us about in the Black Forest, the thing that's been looming over this island the whole time. It's Makuta himself. But you, you're... I am that which you have sworn to protect. Tao, it's a trick. We must destroy him. Destroy me? You cannot destroy me. No more than you can destroy the sea or the wind or the void. I stand with Matanui side by side. I am his brother. The people of this world are builders. But look into their hearts. And you will find they have also the power to destroy. He's talking about kids playing with Legos. <laughs> I am that power. I am destruction. And I will destroy you. But, but you are a Tohunga. You expected something else? Something like this? Oh dear. And Battle yeah. ensues. It's the final boss. And it's just a cutscene. <laughs> he's just kicking. He's, he's mopping the floor with everybody. Yep. <laughs> oh, that little vocals in the back. Oh, he, ha, ha. Yep. Our only hope is to work together. Oh. 
You cannot destroy me. I am nothing. He totally threw that fight. Probably. But what's happened to the Chronicler? Hello. Just hanging out over here. I guess I'll check this out. That symbol. We've seen it a couple times. We have. You know what else we've seen a couple times? Some text saying, wake one and you wake them all. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh, time to get out of here, Takua. Like, he just throws away all of this stuff. So that's a neat little transportation system. This island just gets stranger and stranger the more we see of it. Yep, and we just emerged from there. That same... That same little, uh... Statue we saw just before we started the game. Very nice. So yeah, I believe... Oh, we can't go over there now, unfortunately. But I believe if we went to the constellations before this, there's a constellation that uh, hints towards those creatures we just woke up. And here we are at the very end. Hey, Vagama. So, you gonna do his voice, or me, or what? Sure. So, you have surprised us again, Chronicler. We feared your courage led you to a final adventure. But it seems that you may have many more in the future. You seem afraid. I know what you saw in that cave. Our prophecies said the Makuta's defeat would end our troubles. But the prophecies have changed. Something yet darker looms ahead of us. But for now, put these thoughts from your mind. There are many reasons for the people of Matanui to rejoice. When we first met and you found my mask, and my fire staff, and indeed fulfilled quests for all the Turaga, you were thought to be an outcast. No Tohunga travels from village to village having adventures. The people of Takoro did not trust you, and feared your adventurous ways. They were certain it would bring us ill luck. But you have proven us all wrong, Takua. You stand like the Toa among Matanui's greatest heroes. Come, let us leave this windy beach and return to the light and heat of Takoro. And there we go. I like the little pat on the shoulder he gives him. Yeah, like, put her there, kid. So they, the red star. they have their little festival, and then about, uh, well, for about all the five minutes, you'll see why. Yeah, about those Borok, uh, <laughs> Hey, I've about been trying Borok. not to, I've been trying not to spoil the name, <laughs> there you go. Well, I mean, at this point we've seen what they look like, we know they're yeah. a threat to Matanui, what difference does the name make? Yeah. And I guess we're just stuck on a perpetual loading screen now, how nice. Well, you know what? That's fitting. It's the Matanui. We played the Matanui online game. It's over now. So, like I said many times for this Let's Play, I highly recommend that you watching at home check this game out. Even if you watch my Let's Play, it's still worth playing for yourselves because, you know, experiencing it for the first time is, is really something. Anything to add, Nick? Um, I love this game. I think it is a timeless classic. And as simple as the gameplay is, it is such a trip just to go around the island and get to know the people there. You see that they, they, they actually live lives. They're not just... My point is, like, this so could have easily been a toy commercial, but what really gave Bionicle an edge was the world. Was how y you really did feel for the tiny people on this island, and you wanted to see them protected. You wanted to see the Toa win. It wasn't just the six main heroes. And that's something that's unique about this compared to some of the Bionicle predecessors that it wasn't the six characters. Like, what was it, Slizers? Like, there wasn't really a lot else there. Yeah, those are more typical Lego stories where they just, they give you the basic premise and then just let you springboard it from there. But Bionicle gave you the whole picture. Which, you know, this debate to be had over whether, you know, that's better for a toy line or, or worse. But 
in this case, I think it worked out stupendously. For now, this is the end of the Let's Play. And I thank you guys for joining me throughout all of my Man, I just realized I've been recording for an hour. Oh dear. But, as always, have yourself a very good day. And uh, go check out Nick's channel, I guess. Hey, thanks.